War is a universal language. I know a renegade soldier when I see one. Never occurred to me that one might come from above. Space invasion. Big car chase. Truth be told, I was ready to hang it up till I met you today. So you're not from around here. It's hard to explain. I keep having these memories. I see flashes. I think I had a life here. But I can't tell if it's real. We have no idea what threats are out there. We can't do this alone. We need you. I'm not what you think I am. Hey everybody, we gotta break down this Captain Marvel footage. If you're new to the channel, there's a new round of that Spider-Man PS4 giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on the video. Most of you have probably noticed that the energy that crackles off of her at the end of the trailer when she's in her classic red and blue gold comic book costume looks amazingly similar to the quantum energy that Ant-Man was collecting at the end of Ant-Man and the Wasp. There's also that voiceover that Samuel L. Jackson's young Nick Fury has during the trailer where he talks about how they need her. So that's obviously a reference to Avengers 4 stuff, but obviously that's coming within the context of this secret invasion storyline that they're trying to solve. There's a couple funny Easter eggs you guys probably noticed. Blockbuster video is probably the best way to open that trailer. So there are a couple of different storylines that they cut up across the trailer itself. You have her time with Star Force on the Kree homeworld and them going on a rescue mission. Then you have her coming back to Earth. Then you have all of her origin stuff and her getting her powers. That's probably what this scene is right here. So let's just go through this shot by shot. There's a whole bunch of stuff, but like I said, there's, you know, three really big storylines. Star Force, the origin story, then her on Earth in present day, punching old ladies on Los Angeles transit. This is going to be a great moment to like, oh, sweet little old lady, just clock her right in the face because she is probably a scroll. That first shot of her falling to earth in the green Star Force uniform, that's in present day because it looks like she runs around Los Angeles, which is where the movie largely takes place on planet Earth, with her running around shooting up scrolls looking for people. Like she's in this train depot, that's part of the big train chase scene where you see her jump on the platform here. She's just trying to find these scrolls that you see land on the beach. But then you see that they actually do Captain Marvel Mohawk when she's in the Star Force mission. You see her in the Nine Inch Nails t-shirt with the shield hat on. This looks like the proto version of Project Phoenix, the Avengers base that we see at the beginning of that movie before they blow it up. It was built during the early 90s. Now I didn't spot any actual dates in the trailer, but we will probably see something on a newspaper or something that'll help us pinpoint exactly which year it is when this picks up. Nick Fury has the voiceover saying that he's getting a little bit older, he's thinking about hanging his badge up, he's thinking about retiring, makes a couple jokes about alien invasion, then you see them dissecting one, which I think is a sort of reference to Area 51 within the context of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And if you couldn't tell from this picture, that person standing with him is Coulson. This is what he looks like, young Coulson. We've seen all the pictures of young Nick Fury, but we haven't seen young Coulson yet. I've already talked a little bit about his version of the character in this movie. He's a fresh agent. Nick Fury isn't super hot on him. He's obsessed with MC Hammer. So they're going to use him for a little bit of comedy, a little bit of action towards the end of the film. Coulson always gets to do something really silly, but really badass by the end of the movie. Nick Fury whips his shades off. That's just meant to be the two eyes reveal. Like, oh my God, Nick Fury has both eyes and he has some hair on his head. She starts to narrate her origin story when he says, you're not from around here. She jokes that it's complicated, which is true because her comic book origin story is very complicated, but they jump to the Kree homeworld. You get a couple more Star Force shots. That's their spaceship here. You see her looking out on the escape here. This is one of the main cities on the Kree homeworld. I don't think that we've ever actually been on their home planet before. So this is actually pretty cool. 
Then they start giving you the flashes of her origin story when she was an Air Force pilot. She says that she has memories of a life once on this planet. So you have to imagine that she's been part of Star Force for a while and her experience has sort of messed with her memories a little bit. I've already talked a little bit about Maria Rambo. She's the mother of Monica Rambo. So she might be a character in present day in a future Marvel Phase 4 or Phase 5 movie. It just seems like they intend on doing that at some point. You get more flashbacks cut up to when she was a little girl, just sort of showing her life all the way up to her accident. This footage of her here when she's in the Air Force pilot's uniform and this giant explosion seems like when she gets her powers. So even though they said they aren't doing a traditional origin story movie, we will get to see a version of her origin story. So like her skin starts to crackle with energy. It just seems like she's testing out this jet, goes into orbit, sees this alien spacecraft, they both crash on planet Earth, then the Kree ship blows up and that's what infuses her with all this energy. This scene with her upside down in the harness seems like it's coming from later when she's part of Star Force on that mission early in the film. You get a much better shot of Jude Law. Remember, he's a pink skin Cree. They still haven't confirmed him as Marvel, but it seems like he really is playing that original Captain Marvel and sort of teaches her about her powers. You get the scene of her punching the old lady, who's probably a Skrull. There's a big fight on an alien battlefield that might also be from the Star Force mission earlier in the trailer when she has the Mohawk and they're all flying into battle. There's a shot of Ronin in Earth's orbit, which could be from later in the film, closer to present day. Because I've talked a little bit about the original Kree Scroll War and how Ronin was involved with that. He's been to planet Earth many times as a villain and as a friend to the Avengers, so it gets kind of confusing. We'll have to wait for more footage of him. Nick Fury whips out his pager. It looks like he's trying to communicate with her with the target. So that's probably talking about the secret invasion scroll stuff that's happening later in the film. But obviously a bit of a wink at the souped up space pager at the end of Infinity War that he used to call her back to planet Earth. The energy of the explosion that gives her her powers looks really blue. But the interesting thing is though is that when you see her power up at the end of the trailer, it looks much more like the quantum energy that we see from the quantum realm post credit scene in Ant-Man and the Wasp. You get a much better shot of her in the helmet. That actually looks really badass. I was really hoping that they would find a way to incorporate a couple different versions of the costume, even if it was only briefly, just a wink at the comics. But they did the mohawk, they did the helmet. It doesn't look silly. It looks really cool. So I'm really happy with the visual style of the film. And I almost forgot to mention too, when she crash lands in the blockbuster, there's a bit of a funny wink at the camera. She stands up and in the same frame, there's a little sign that says action pointing down at her. It's just a funny wink at this being Marvel's first big 90s action style movie. So like Terminator 2, the Die Hard movie. Just imagine them doing something in the tone of those style of movies. But everybody, let me know what you think of her costume, the way that they're visualizing her powers, and the way that they're cutting this movie up, giving you the flashbacks to her origin story. What'll probably happen is now is that we'll get that Avengers 4 title before the end of the year. Kevin Feige said that they would start promoting Avengers 4 towards the end of the year, so that could be the end of November, that could be December. So just keep that in the back of your mind. It's not going to happen tomorrow, I don't think. I think they're going to let this settle for a little while. But what will happen is, is I'll do more Captain Marvel videos this week. Leave your requests in the comments below. But I'll name a new giveaway winner when I post new Marvel. Click here for brand new Venom and click here for brand new Avengers 4. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.